My name is Margaret Karembu, Director of ISA. ISA is an international service for the acquisition of agrobiotech applications. We mainly facilitate technology transfer and knowledge sharing on agrobiotechnology. I'm a member of our Bioinnovate Policy Project that is really looking at how best uh, products that are being developed through uh, the Bioinnovate projects could be commercialized. And one, one of the components is looking at um, environmental conservation and how best uh, uh, some of the industries that are coming up could be encouraged to use uh, environment-friendly technologies in the management of their effluents. This workshop is organized under the Bioinnovate Policy Project and what we are interested in is to understand some of the policies that are in place to help in uh, managing industrial effluents and see what, how best uh, incentives can be provided for these industries to adapt or adopt uh, technologies that help in reducing the amount of uh, efforts that they discharge in our environment. And uh, some of the consultants that are presented in this uh, workshop have actually emphasized on the need to create awareness about uh, those technologies or innovations to manage efforts that are working and where they're not working, we have had uh, presentations talking about uh, the, the areas where policy need to change or adjust uh, in the area of uh, the regulations, in the area of enforcement of uh, uh, environmental management policies so that industries can also develop without feeling like they're being inhibited to industrialize our countries because of the stringent environmental uh, practices that are being put in place. So it's more or less like a balance. We want a balance. We need the industries because most of the East African countries are aiming at becoming industrialized countries in the very close future. But at the same time, we have many lessons to learn from those countries that have industries before us. By adopting innovative uh, methods and technologies that help reduce the amount of effluents and not just reducing, but recovering the wastes so that they no longer are wastes, but they can become part and parcel of uh, the cost-cutting measures in industry. What do I mean by that? We would like industries to start thinking about recovering the waste, uh, reusing it, and ensuring that part of that waste is converted into other byproducts that help reduce the cost of production. What does that mean? That they'll be able to make profits and at the same time make sure that the impact on the environment is minimized. What we hope uh, will come out of this workshop and the recommendations are already coming up really is um, to pick out some of the best bad practices that have already been identified by the consultants who are able to go around industries identifying some of those practices, uh, package them and make sure that they are disseminated widely, not just within the bioinnovate program, but wider. We are also seeing that there is need for private sector to be more involved in the policy formulation because it is them who get affected by the policy and if the policies are seen to be so uh, prohibitive, then the tendency to adhere to the policies will be minimized. And since we want a win-win situation where industry is, is observing the policies in place, then the, the policy makers are, are enforcing the law, then we need to work together. There is definitely a, a very weak link between industry and the policies and the regulations that are there. And, and uh, oftentimes, we are also uh, seeing a situation where both view each other as enemies, which is not good for development. We want, out of this workshop, a recommendation is made where a platform is created where oftenly the, the industry and the policymakers come together to review the progress with enforcement and implementation of the environmental policies in place to reduce industrial effluents discharge into our environment. Mainly the water bodies, you know, the air, and the soils. We want to have healthy soils, we want to have clean water, we want to have clean air. We don't want everybody in the next few years or so to be carrying bags, air bags, 
of oxygen to breathe because of the pollution of our airs. We'd like the industry to start being more responsible in uh, adapting some of these technologies that seem to be working to reduce the amount of uh, waste from industry.